Today marks the reveal of the Forbes Africa's highly anticipated cover. I'm talking about this one right here. It is the Forbes Africa under 30 list. And we have a couple of videos rolling out throughout the month of June, introducing some of the candidates. For now, take a look at what happened behind the scenes of the cover shoot. I, I didn't expect it to come this soon. I was numb as a process. It was a moment for me which was surreal because it's something that I've always aspired for. But uh, it's here and I'm proud to be part of the list. In order to get on the list now that you know that I've made it, whatever your story is, tell it honestly. Entrepreneurship is my calling, it's a burden or it's a curse that's upon my life. When you surround yourself with bright, brilliant people, that can only be a good thing for, for you and for whatever else you're trying to do. For me, it's a, it's, it's a sign that there's hope for the youth in Africa. It's an experience I would never forget. Being part of a list with such awesome people on it just also shows another young lady out there that she can also do it. I am. I am. I am. I am Forbes Africa, under 30. Hi, I'm Ansela Mangena, and this is. Forbes Africa! Beautiful. Well, let's talk about that magazine right now with the team that helped put it together. Journalists Ansela Mangena. We've got Lucy Nkosi, who is a graphic designer. And of course, uh, Tlabi. Tlabi, I've actually never pronounced your last name and I don't want to mis do it misjustice on air. Tlabi Mang. Tlabi Monakhotla. The photographer that took this fantastic cover. How difficult was it? to get or capture this moment? It wasn't really difficult. I mean, with the energy that they had, it made everything just flow and easy, you know? Um, I mean, with the team that I had um, composing the picture just made it easy. The energy that they came in inside the studio, you know, made it even better. Um, what I liked about it is that um, it was just a room full of entrepreneurs. So everything just gelled in together, you know? So it was just taking a shot like that. And it's the first, group portrait that I've taken for a cover. Beautiful. And the, the, it's the first, it's the pull-out cover. I Gateful. mean, why, why are we doing this? What, what's so significant about this in Forbes' history? Ansela? Lucy is the best person to answer that question. <laughs> Lucy, they put you on the spot? She yes, knows she it. did. Um, <laughs> thanks, Ansela. Um, I think it's, it's a very important cover because we wanted to show um, as many entrepreneurs as we could, and mm. we wanted to... Um, have some people from each category, and this was the best way to do it, and mm. was the best way to make sure that everything looks good, and we show the young, the young entrepreneurs, we show the spirit, we show, mm. we show um, the importance of having such wonderful people sure. on the cover, and yeah, we want to inspire other people to want to be on the Forbes Africa under 30 list as well. Sure. I mean, Ansela, you've been working with this for some time now, and yeah. I actually see that some of the people on this cover were some of the people in that insert that we just uh, watched. Mm. Talk to me about these fantastic individuals that make me feel like I'm not working hard enough, enough <laughs> because I'm over 30 and I never you once came on this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, this 
is the best cover story I think I've ever written in my career as a journalist. Mm -hmm. Those under 30s are everything. Mm. In, in their language, I'll say they're dope. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. what they are. Their work is so incredible. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, on the cover, we showed nine. That's 10% of our entire list. For the first time this year, we're showcasing 90 under 30s. We mm. used to do only 30 under the business category. And then this year, we decided because sometimes we don't pay too much attention mm -hmm. on the creatives and uh, we included the, the creatives category and we have the tech category as well because we wanted to inspire more Africans to get into the tech space sure. because that's where the world is going. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about. We're talking blockchain. We're talking, you know, different ways of doing ins insurance and healthcare and all mm -hmm. of those things in the robotic space. So most of our under 30s are in those spaces. So you'll find 13 business, 13 tech and 13 the creative space. Mm -hmm. And boy, do we have some incredible entrepreneurs. We've got a 20 year old who is the youngest on the list this year. Hmm. Incredible young man. Um, one of the youngest people you saw on uh, that shot clip that you played now is 23 years old. Hmm. In a tech space, you know, he's making 45 million uh, rands. That's very <laughs> impressive for a 23 year old. Like, I don't know what I was doing when I was 23, <laughs> somewhere at UJ. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> doing whatever. And you know, there are stories. What we always look for, for, un for in, un on those under 30s is somebody with a story story. It's not people who only risk, risk their own money, but you have to have a story. We need to understand how your struggle mm. made you who you are. We mm. need to understand how your opportunities made you a better person. Mm. One of my most favorite stories is, is, is Sia Yunge. He's from Tanzania. He is an orphan. Literally, he grew up on the street. Mm -hmm. And he went from one foster home to another. He, nobody really cared much about him. And mm -hmm. now he runs a multi-million dollar business mm -hmm. in Tanzania. Those are the kind of stories that we're looking for. Those are the kind of people that represent what Africa is all about. And we've got creatives. We've got people like Tusombe Du, people like Anati, Nomza Mombata, all mm. those creatives in this space that are shining, that are representing us internationally, that are putting you know, the African map on the world map and making sure. sure that people are talking about what we're doing. Everybody must get this cover. If there's any Forbes cover you're going to want to read, it's this one. And it's not because she wrote the story. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. We'll just say not at all. 